Today, we're going to talk about how to handle the objection when your clients say, let me think about it. Hi everybody, it's me, Henry, and welcome to my channel. This is the channel that helps you improve your speaking skills and bring more impacts to the audience. And if you're new here, please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications. Today, we're gonna talk about the hot topic, which is how to handle the objection when your clients say, let me think about it. I can truly understand how frustrated it is after all the bombastic sales presentation, all the who and ha and the demonstration to show to your customer. And when the closing time, you're so happy, huh, can we sign it? And your customer say, uh, well, let me think about it. I'll get back to you after three months. Now, trust me, after three months, they will never come back. Now, first of all, you need to understand people, they will forget approximately 30% of what you say after one hour. And after 24 hours, 70%. And after 30 days, almost everything. They don't really remember everything you say. And if you say it's totally fine, you may just go home and think about it. After walk out of the door, you may just kiss goodbye to them. And at this point, don't take it personally. Don't just focus on the closing part after your sales presentation and it is a must from the prospect to buy from you and it is a must, you can close it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Now, first of all, you need to understand some prospects, they are immediate buyer and some, they're not. They need some time to follow up. And sometimes it depends on your price level. If the price is way below your spending power, you may just buy it without any hesitation or consideration. I'll just buy it. Worst case is a trash. I don't really care about it. Or sometimes you are too excited to present to your customers. Usually this happens to the amateur salespersons. They just want to tell everything they want to tell to the customers, but they're not telling the things the customers want to listen. So we have to take care of this. Regardless what situation it is, we need to accept with an open heart because there's no one on this planet who can close everybody. So this is a moment for us to troubleshoot what went wrong. Because if you're doing perfectly, you prospect, they're gonna buy immediately. So this is a moment let us all understand why. What is the real reason behind? Now, you may go in this way. This is a prospect. That totally makes sense. Perhaps you need a little bit more time to think about it. And thank you for letting me know. This phrase is to appreciate, is to respect your clients, your prospect, to let you know that they need some time to think about it. It is a respect. And up next, we're gonna dive into deeper. It is like onion. You're gonna peel it layer by layer. And up next, you may ask, out of curiosity, may I know what exactly do you wanna think about it before making a decision? And this question, you're gonna go a little bit more deeper for your customers to tell you exactly what happened. And if your customers not really tell you the truth, well, you know what? Sometimes people, they just don't want to hurt you by saying, no, I'm not interested. I don't want. Unless you are having the argument with the customers that's fighting, then your customer will reply you in an angry way. I'm not gonna buy from you. I swear, I'm not gonna buy from you. Nobody wants this happen. So when the time you present to them in a nice way, in a polite way, and your customer, they just don't want to hurt you or they're missing some information to just tell you, uh, I need some time to think about it. And when you ask what exactly you want to think about it, sometimes they will tell you and sometimes they're not. And up next, you can go a little bit more deeper. You may use your own words, but the meaning is almost there. Well, Mr. Prospect, I hope you can have the open, honest conversation. You may tell me directly what you think about it. By telling this, you are telling your customers, it's totally fine. Tell me, let me know what happened. And you may continue with, usually people say they want to think about it. They have two situations. One is they're not interested. And one is they're interested, but they're not sure. 
may I know which one are you? If they are saying not interested, you may put it into the follow up category. And sometimes they are not interested is because at that moment they don't find the value or at that moment they don't really have the trust level with you. So it's completely fine if they're not interested, put them into the follow up category. And if they are interested but not sure, so you have a certain level of the chances to close the sales. I'm not sure, then you can ask a deeper question. So usually they say they are interested but they are not sure they have three situations. I'm not sure which one are you. Now situation number one is, is this product or is this service fit for you? So if your customers say, wow, it, it is fit, it's completely fine. This is, this is a nice product, nice service. Well, if it is fit, then ask the next question. Do you find values or benefits from this service or product? And now this part, if there's any missing information your customers want to know, they will tell you, well, you know what, I think this is good, but the size is not really fit to my room or my cabinet. So at this moment, you can troubleshoot, clear the doubts, and to provide a solution or suggestion. So if you can fix this part, clear the doubts, Congratulations, you can close the deal and done. If they find the values, the benefits, and it is fit, then situation number three, which is about the money. Usually regarding money, it is sensitive. Prospect, they don't really want to tell the salesperson because they find this is embarrassed. Well, it is completely fine. Perhaps you can give a suggestion. If your products or service have the installment, then you can solve this problem you give the solution to your customers they want to buy this they want to buy this service but they don't have the money at the moment if you can arrange installment then you can solve this problem and again you can close this deal if they don't have the money at that moment and you don't have the installment plan perhaps they need to take some time to make sure they have the money then only to come back to you and then you can put them into the full up category so you can see that after the some time your full up category your prospect will just come back to you it is considered a sales as well so when you ask the right question troubleshoot into depot you may close the deal instead of when they say let me think about it and you say all right sure thank you and bye bye you waste a lot of the opportunities to close the sales while you may use all those tips and knowledge as a reference and apply to your next sales presentation and i wish you could succeed on that and if you find values and there's something from this video you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel and most importantly leave a comment below let me know what you think i would love to read your comment and reply to your comments and i hope to see you in the next video